Hello YouTube, this is XXXMan360 here, and welcome back to another episode of Fan Refiles. Today we are looking at Angry Birds Classic Winphone 8 4.0.0.zip. Thank you to the Logic on my Discord server for sending me this file. So I take it this was a version of Angry Birds aimed at Windows Phone 8. And this is version 4.0.0 of Angry Birds, so we should expect it to look like Angry Birds 4.0.0, but aimed at a different device. Yes, the lower resolution says it all. And these buttons too, which seems to be unique. Oh wait, wait. That was 2013? Man, I feel old. Okay, where should we begin? Let's, I, well, I guess we gotta go to poached eggs, right? Because this is like a demo version. Oh, what's that up there? He uses the uh, lower hertz sound effects I can uh, see. I guess that's probably so that way they can save on resources, as I imagine the Windows Phone 8 wasn't exactly the most powerful device out there, and with Rovio being keen on making their game multi-platform, they had to make some uh, sacrifices in order to make it playable. But it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Number three. Number four. Oh. Okay, that activated earlier than I wanted it to. I'm losing my focus. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Whew. I ah, see, this is the level 5 that I find easier. It's just glass, so you can just easily one-shot it. So, no reason to not get 3 stars on this one. Usually they fall off the edge, but uh, I guess this pig had suicidal thoughts. Okay, we are on number seven now. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. They just roll off. Well, actually, this pig's the one that didn't. Because clearly, the physics are not the same. Come on. Our first golden egg. You see, here's what I don't get. Why can't they keep the clicking mechanic in the PC version if you can still tap on it when you port it over to PC? And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three, four. I suppose it makes sense that there are no power-ups in here, because this is, I guess, like a, uh, a demo version. But, uh, they could at least, you know, go for that Angry Birds freestyle game, because I kind of like the look where it has Roman numerals instead of, uh, the traditional level packs. It makes it feel like its own game, even though it's meant to be a dumbed-down version of it. But it's not the same as Angry Birds Light. Angry Birds Light uses... I mean, Angry Birds Light does have 
some of its own levels, which I think it's nice. But it reuses a lot from uh, actual levels in Poached Egg, so it's not entirely unique, whereas Angry Birds Free is uh, completely unique. I think everyone likes a new level, huh? Also, hang on. I just realized this has the, uh, this is a version with, you know, the background rather than, uh, the sun, yet it still has the old pig design. It's not the chrome pig design. Wow. How did I not notice that? But, uh, I have now. And I, I find it's a bit odd. Maybe this is actually a modification from the original, but uh, if this is how it is, I w wonder why Rovio decided to do that. Why keep the classic design of the pigs in uh, a modern version like 4.0.0? When I know very well, on the full release of 4.0.0, they have the chromes design, you know? That's so much nicer. Thank you, gravity. You see, this one I like because every version of Angry Birds I've played, it's very easy to complete in. There is no physics bias. Oh, and I like this version of number 12 because you can slice through it like a knife. It's amazing to watch, and I will never get bored of it. Number 13 can also be satisfying, but you gotta get it right. Alright, we'll do this, and then we'll stop at 15. Alright, let's see how we did. Okay, so we got... Two, three, four, five, six, nine out of 14 levels with three stars. Uh, I don't know what that is as a percentage, so I'll just post it on screen. And I guess I could say I feel good enough, but it could have been better. I'll have to improve on my... Um, foreign physics of Angry Birds versions like this. But still, thanks again to Logic for sending them this interesting but similar to normal port. I can see that it is definitely designed for lower resolutions, which would make sense because it's for phones. But uh, still cool to know that it existed. And so, to anyone else who was watching, if you'd like to send me your own software, just head down to my Discord server and look for the channel that says, Give me software here. You can submit it there, and I will show it on YouTube. That is all, and thank you for watching. Yako, it's time to take the ink blood test. Now, tell me, what does this remind you of? Crunch. What does this remind you of? Crunch. What does this remind you of? Crunch. You are obsessed with crunch. Hey, you're the one showing me all this. <laughs>